And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some casino. That's going to be our next deck. We're going to be rolling the dice. This is a Mogwai special. This is a deck that a viewer donated for though. They're like, I want to see you play this deck. So here we go. We're going to give it a try. Um, we got all of our things. We got our slot bot. We got our brash gambler. It's a casino card. We got our twisted fate, uh, you know, throwing cards and everything like that. Picking cards, um, any card, you can pick a card. So, uh, you know, our pool shark, you know, like we're just, we're just here in the casino doing all that kind of stuff. So basically what we got is we have a Jinx Twisted Fate deck, which we did play a Jinx Twisted Fate deck uh, the other day, probably about a week ago or so now. Um, but we got another one. This one is, you know, we're, we're going to be focusing on leveling up our champions, uh, going with all the rummages. I definitely like that. Uh, this is, this card does really well with both of our champions whether we need to discard our hand to get rid of it for jinx or we need to get that one mana burst draw to for twisted fate it's good i think it's going to be where we're kind of picking a champion and leveling up depending on what our hand looks like and how the game uh goes it's it's not going to be very often that we'll be able to um level up jinx and twisted fate both um but uh you know depending on how the game is we'll uh you know work accordingly all right so some perks map can grant an ally elusive the reason why that's going to be important is going to be for both slot bot which we can hopefully make very large by drawing a lot of cards especially with rummage um, and pick a card and also with brash gambler which also att attacks and draws us more cards um, for the slot bot but both of those we can get elusive um, and those are both very good elusive threats um, but here we go. Let's play some casino. We'll go play five games over in ranked Using the arcade board for the casino. I know the arcade board isn't the favorite of everybody um, I know Some people don't like the music on here. Other people do people in uh, chat wanted to see the arcade board with our casino deck I like the music myself, but I understand it's not for everybody um, Braum Vladimir. So I'm, I'm keeping Slotbot Twisted Fate. Um, the Sumpworks map could be good for the Slotbot, especially to get through the blockers on the ground. So I'm going to keep that too. And we'll get rid of the Get Excited. I'm going to wait on the Pool Shark until after we have these things in play. Let me show you. I don't know, what can you do? I love the taste of the egg. Ah, you can attack. Flame chompers. This would be a great time to draw rummage. By, right, rummage getting rid of jury rig and flame chompers being a draw to for the slot bot and the twisted bait. Or played one. Unfortunately, I can't respond and go pick a card. Oh, now can I? Yes, because they played something. Now I can. Let's get rid of one of these. I just want to draw a lot of cards. I want to make this slot bot big. Soak it in. And now we get, you know, we get that spell mana now. Like, since we were able to respond to that, we get that spell mana. Let the flames take you. It is easy, see? Oh, nice, Grace Law. Like, I forgot to tell you, I saw Braum level up yesterday. You saw the very rare Braum level up. Very nice. Uh, let's see. So, five out of eight for Twisted Fate. No more card draw, really. Gotta trust your instincts. Hmm. Well, my instincts aren't good. Instincts aren't saying anything good. Because I, I, <laughs> I kind of want to go Flame Chompers and then suit up the flame chompers 
silly, but that's what I kind of want to do. And then have the suit up Flame Chompers challenge the Braum. Those just get discarded. Leading cards get discarded into turn, right? Not just obliterated. So that flame chompers would have just gone into play anyway, and could have put this other one into play. All right, but we found a rummage, so that's good. So that will level up our twisted fate. So it will no longer die right here. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. And. I guess I'm not playing you, Jinx. I wanted to play the Jinx. But I guess I'm not going to. This is probably a bad idea. Right, they get a Poro. No, not a 5-10. I wanted a 10-5. Come on, give it a try. Cool, down to six. These get excited should finish us out. Good job, Sumpworks map. The stream is lagging a little bit. Anyone else having a stream problem? I don't know. No? Okay. Alright, so Gamma, I think there's something on your end. I don't, I don't know what it would be on my end. I don't know why it would be lagging. 
internet's good. Oh, I did, I did, um, good news is I did, you know, call the internet company and figure out what was wrong because how my internet was much slower than what it's supposed to be. Because I was getting like 30, like my upload speed was like fine. It was like exactly what it was supposed to be. And so it didn't really affect the stream, but I was getting like 30 download instead of um, the gigabyte download like I was paying for. So like, you know, a thousand or, you know, really like 900 download. Um, and it turned out that I just need to reset the router. It was the router's problem. And so resetting the router, it's all good now. This hand looks pretty decent. Um, usually I'd mulligan get excited, but I feel like we need get excited here. Uh, I kind of have too many things that say disc, you know, want to discard stuff though. I like the gambler and I like the get excited for that. And rummage is honestly just one of our best cards. <laughs> I'm gonna mulligan rummage. <laughs> I was told never mulligan rummage, but I have too many things that say discard. And rummage is technically card disadvantage. Like maybe I was supposed to get rid of the gambler, but I like gambler too much. This card's gonna be great. There's a chill in here. Like I knew about, I knew, I knew about like unplugging the modem and plugging that back in kind of thing to like reset the modem, but I guess it was like the router because like they're two separate things and I guess the, the router needed like the, you know, you take your pen and, you know, plug it, you know, hit the little I'm one of the good guys. Uh, button on the back. That's what it needed. <laughs> I'm going to be watching Gambler intently giving a performance review after this game. All right, all right. I mean, I could probably empty my hand for Jinx. Probably could. But that might not be as good as just playing Twisted Fate. Well, I'd rather them give that vulnerable than give Twisted Fate vulnerable. TBH. We have too much cool, cool stuff we can do. discard a Jinx, if we do have to discard, get excited. Tough, tough decisions. All right, so they're just passing. Because I basically, I don't really want to discard. I mean, I guess I'd, I'd like I'd have to discard. Get excited and flame chompers for this. That does that doesn't sound ideal. Never lost a I'm just gonna go red card. Who says I don't shoot? Making the dead. Like, how do I play this Gambler? If I cast Get Excited, I can't cast Gambler, right? Like, I can't do both.
because this cost this cost me two cards, and then I don't I don't have two cards to discard to gambler anymore. This is going to be icky. kind of weird. I, I kind of figured this thing would be... Yeah, I thought they were just going to do that, and then this was just going to kill that. Mm, they're going to have the Grizzled Ranger by itself kill both. Yeah, gold card kill Senna. I would rather have this thing. I'd rather just get this thing in play and be able to play Twisted Fate next turn and then and kill these. Because if I go gold card kill Senna, they have that. They go Valor kill Twisted Fate. Challenger and Vulnerable. And all these scouts. So gold card kills Senna, red card kills Valor. Or I just go blue card and draw card. I'm gonna go blue. Eyes open. Well, neither of those cards are any good. Really need a rummage. Sweet. Got the rummage. That will help. Three out of eight. This is five. Shuffle. Now the eight. The game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. All right, leveled up Twisted Fate. Let's go. One. Oh man, that slot bot gonna be big. That brash gambler gonna be discarded. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. That slot bot also gonna be big. So how are we doing this? How are we doing this? Welcome. Eyes open. It's 
So I can play another thing and get a red card. Here we go. So if I just play two things, I get gold card. Time to make some coin. Where you going? So pick a card, put back Gambler, and then suit up on, I don't know, what the Twisted Fate? Oh, the Slot Bot. So that'll be red card. What am I suiting up? Maybe the Slot Bot? I guess I could suit up this thing. Just kill that. Gotta trust your instincts. Um, we're gonna be left with four slots. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do this random thing over here. Left with five. All right, so if I play Slotbot, Slotbot's amazing and gonna be super huge. Or to play the Jinx and Jinx levels up. Probably play, probably play Slotbot. All right, GGs. All right, so that was a pretty good game there. That was, yeah, that was pretty awesome. All right, mod with the donation deck. Uh, donating another another Mogwai deck. Okay, Mogwai's a Snapbind deck. Cool. All right, I'll write that one down. Snapbind. I know, all the donation decks. We got four new ones today. Just getting like four donation decks a day with... Do y'all think I should up the... Up the channel point value of them? I don't... I don't know. Okay, Snapbind with Professor Von Yip. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Sejuani, Vladimir. Let's get rid of this, get rid of this. Keep these two. I'm not sure what I'm really doing with the Mystic Shot. You know, they're gonna have like Crimson Disciple as their two drop and stuff like that. Um, where's my Brahmi mode? There we go. I don't really wanna kill that thing. They could have like the three one tough. That would be ideal. Bleh. Man, I just don't want them to trigger Sejuani though. Do I cast Jury Rig? That's just such a bad cast. Ugh. Begrudgingly. Where do you stand on cold shots? Ah, uh, thanks, Grace Claw. Thank you. Give us some room. Yeah, you think the the deck donations too few points? I mean, I do I do like rewarding the people that uh, um, that you know are here in chat and everything and, and watching a bunch. I do like rewarding them. Actually, probably better just to get the two damage on that thing. Okay, so y'all think the 15,000 instead of the 10,000 points? Ugh. It's 
hopefully they didn't have elixir of iron. Yeah, the Twitch ads do make money for me, but not not very much. Um, yeah, not not very much at all. Like it, not like YouTube. Twisted Fate this turn. We can go gold card, take out the 4 2. I've dressed for the occasion. Wow. Gold card's not taking out the 4 2 anymore. So the problem with gold card, I mean, it does make it a 7 5, I guess. Drawing. I'm gonna just try to level up this Twisted Fate. Soak it in. We're drawing. I probably should just put back a Jinx, shouldn't I? I mean, well, I guess that, that card's just gone. At least it would have been gone. Or it's, well, it's discarded, so it would go to play, because it's a Flame Chompers. So yeah, I should have just got rid of the. Yeah, I should have just put the Jinx back. Actually, no. Well, this works. This works. <laughs> RV. Song. You own what you take. So close. Seven out of eight. So close. Hot on the train. Who would dance with me? Stand and fight. Yeah, so when they do like the three three, get suited up. Problems off. Puts me down to eight. I can either try to kill Vladimir or Sejuani with suit up, get excited, but I, I don't know which one really to kill. The Vladimir is like about to level up. Vladimir's leveling up. It's going to be an 8-8. Eight eight. I'm going to go after everything else. So I wouldn't really be able to kill Vladimir with the suit up. And so the, the Sejuani doesn't have... Because then it would just regenerate back. The Sejuani doesn't have regenerate. Because I, I, I would do want to play that slot bot, right? Like, I do want to play that thing.
have a backup plan. Show them our teeth. Alright, how are we dealing with this Vladimir? does four damage six damage I don't I'm one one mana short from going suit up twisted fate mystic shot to do eight to this thing one mana short of that I feel like if I would have just Mystic shot the Sejuani pre-combat, maybe they just play like another something. I I just I didn't really mind that trade too much. Feel me in. Eyes open. These things are so big. Eight mana next turn. Ball, folks. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. I don't know if I'm supposed to pick a card or not. Gotta trust your instinct. Guess so. It's gonna make this suit up really awkward now. So Slotbot gains another four stats. Like, you know, seven seven-ish, depending on what it gets. Plus and minus. Alright, just seven seven. Can't find rummage. Can't leave until you win. Sure, I'm sure. Keep trying. I don't like this slot bot taking so much damage. So my plan is to kill them this next turn, do 17 damage to them with slot bots. And burn spells, get excited, get excited, mystic shot, that kind of stuff. My plan is to kill them before they get to attack again. So, this evade is gone. Oh. Right, that was a twisted fate pick a card, not a regular pick a card. I should cast that. I should have cast that pick a, pick a card. I guess I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess that doesn't matter. Come on, because it's that's drawing those three cards next turn pumps up the slot bots for after that, so that doesn't even help. So this this actually just helps better. Searching for a 
9 will put him down to 8. I have 8 burn in hand. I can even make it 11 burn in hand. By playing Jinx. Yeah, I'm playing, playing a Jinx and having the Jinx turn into another Get Excited. But I don't think they have life gain. I don't think. I think we're safe. Worked. Let the twist of fate die. Focus on that slot bot, giving it elusive, having it not take very much damage, so it'd have a lot of stats. And there we go. That's 17 life out of nowhere. Um, I mean, I guess I could throw all the burn at once. I'm just kind of seeing, like, just doing once and letting them react and seeing what they have. Um, I've done all the burn at once before, and then they had, like, uh, I don't know, like, they were at, like, three, and I had two get excited, and I just threw, like, both get excited at them, and then they played, like, something where if I wouldn't have thrown them both at the same time, I don't know, it's just, yeah, because, like, if they would have used, like, some kind of health potion or something, then I, or, like, you know, some kind of healing, then I would want to play the Jinx and not play the other thing. Uh, we're playing a mirror match? Mirror match. Mirror match has to be all about Twisted Fate, right? It's gotta be all about Twisted Fate, leveling up Twisted Fate fast. I would think. It's going to be difficult to do that, though, through Mystic Shots and Get Excited. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Love it. They have to have another burn spell, though, right? Like, they, they, they don't just use their only burn spell on that thing, right? Gotta have more removal. Because, yeah, Mystic Shock, get excited, is what we need to dodge. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. I'm going to play Jinx first. To have Jinx be a magnet. Oh. For removal just, and plus like this pick a cards really slow just gives them way too much too much time any more removal though if they have another twisted fate I'm in trouble my opponent's patience is just non-existent <laughs> Twisted Fate Mirror, it's like a cowboy movie. <laughs> Ugh. I do have another Twisted Fate. I am in trouble because I don't have any more removal. They're doing good at the, it's all about leveling up Twisted Fate game. 
three removal spells, two Twisted Fates. That's all they've played. <laughs> all they've played is Twisted Fate and removal. Oh, right, I could go gold card. That's true. The problem is, the so the Brash Gambler was fleeting, so I was just focused on, like, I was playing Brash Gambler because it's fleeting. But that's true, I could have gone gold card. But I, would, I definitely wanted to play this and not just discard it. Looks like trouble. So it looks like they got another, or like, yeah, so they should have another get excited if they're well, if they're willing to make that attack. Gotta be get excited. I'm always up for a round or two. So likely there goes the twist of fate. Yeah, and they have the suit to protect theirs. But it is good to get this in play first before the gambler attacks, just in case. And there's Get Excited. They really have had... If it's all about Twisted Fate, they really have had the best Twisted Fate hand, right? Like, two Twisted Fates, two Mystic Shots, two Get Excited, um, and a suit up to protect. Nothing lasts forever. Always have a backup plan. All right, this worked out well. So their slot bot, they drew one card. My slot bot, we drew five cards. A winner is you. It's a little better. Discard Sumpworks map and draw a card. This is a real or cast Sumpworks map. I kind of think cast Sumpworks map. Would it be better to put it on the gambler so they don't get to... I think so. Just don't let them block gambler. And I'm just doing that right now to use mana, basically. Like, like just not, yeah, the, the whole, yeah, like not casting it and then just keeping it. I just waste so much mana. I'm just using it to use mana where, you know, we will hopefully draw a bunch of cards next turn. So suit up and get excited. So that's their third get excited. Second suit up. Their slot pots are growing more than mine now. Of my sleep. Can't leave until you win. Wow. There's gonna take 13. Just taking 13. Yeah, our deck's highest cost card is four, but we do have a lot of ways to cycle and draw more cards and play a lot of things in that turn. Like, we were already going to be drawing three cards for that turn. And then, um, and then you know, if we draw more card draw, you know, then we could just keep on going and, and stuff like that. You know, maybe we draw a, a Twisted Fate. Maybe we level up a Twisted Fate. I don't know. And then suddenly we get blue cards, red card, gold cards. Alright, 4-0. Ooh, this is a tough... This is going to be a tough matchup here. The Ender Spiders. Keep 
keep Rummage. I mean, I, I don't dislike Pool Shark. Add something to block some spiders, but I also don't love Pool Shark. Mm. Well then, I think we found our, our plan. We need to draw Sumpworks map and more card draw and get get elusive Slotbot doing 20 damage. That's the plan. Only dies to double feast. I guess they could, if they're desperate, they can use Atrocity for removal. Something to, to watch out for. I wouldn't be surprised by a block. No. I wouldn't have been surprised either way. Yeah, that's true. You could have Black Spear from Callista. Wow. Tempting to play the rummage, make that a four-two. It's tempting. It's just much worse for my slot bots. If they have a glimpse beyond, because I want a Twisted Fate red card, but if they have a glimpse beyond, I'm in trouble. That's my best play. Never lost a fair yeah, I mean, that's, that's my play is red card plus Mystic Shot. But basically, if they let the red card happen, and then I Mystic Shot Callista, and then they Glimpse Beyond. Okay, good. So we get to... Get to cast this before it resolves. You like before? So that's good. Saddest thing ever blocking with Twisted Fate. I guess I could block here. Lose three stats on my slot bot. I guess I guess that's better than losing Twisted Fate. Gotta trust your instincts. Guess. <laughs> I like my slot bot too much. Oh, it's just so small now. Really nice to get another slot bot in play. It's also really nice to get this brash gambler in play. We're 
sorry, Slopot. Is there a win con in this matchup? I don't know. Killing him. <laughs> but yeah, just the same thing as always. Level up Twisted Fate. We want to get the Slopot elusive. Wow, that was really nice. I was gonna just be discarding those two cards no matter what they were, so that was really nice. So now we got five for our slot bot. Can't stop that card though. And I need, why are you a seven two? I mean, so we block with a four four, take seven. Six out of eight. Okay, so we're going to level this up. Okay. Need the burst card. That's what I'm trying to do, cycle for a gold card. Fast spell, burst spell. Yes. There we go. All right, who, who wants it? You want it? Still can't beat Atrocity right now, but man, now you're a 410. You're just doing the exact opposite than what I need, Slotbot. The exact opposite of what I need. Should just pass the turn. I was hoping they were gonna let this one damage happen, you know, and then we'd have to get excited. Oh well, wait, no, we still get gold card, right? Okay, no, yeah, we still got gold card. Yeah, gold card. Let's go. Holy partner. That was my plan to use that get excited to kill that thing. 
All right, I discarded that that other card so I can empty the hand to level up Jinx. <laughs> we have a 613 slot bot. Um, sweet. GG's. The 5 0. Casino. We blew them all. Wow. Wow, the 5 0 Casino. Don't know what our actual rank is. We'd have to attack, or we'd have to play a game and get paired to see what the actual rank is. So there we go, yeah. Mogwai built a pretty sweet one here. Brash Gambler was just awesome. This card's really good. Um, and then Slotbot. The only thing that I, I wish that we had sometimes is, I don't know, all the pick a cards, like they weren't bad, but like I sometimes just needed like to be able to draw a couple of cards with Twisted Fate in play to level up. Like I wonder if, I wonder if we should be playing two pick a cards, one, um, one salvage you know like just something to like you know be able to draw to right away like obviously we have the rummage but like that's it we just have the rummage maybe it could be two pick a card one salvage um just to kind of give us some variety so we have some some different things because you know we would have like twisted fate at like six out of eight or seven out of eight or even sometimes like the five out of eight and we just couldn't quite level up the twisted fate um when it would have been nice too and with, with us getting all of, like, the, you know, twist... Like, we draw so many cards. And so, like, our Twisted Fate champions are our pick-a-cards also. And then we have these pick-a-cards. It seems like we're just playing, you know, a million pick-a-cards. Because we basically have, like, you know, five of them in the deck, basically. And so I wonder if one should be a salvage. Uh, yeah, that's true. Pick-a-card does help level up Jinx. And it's better with the fleeting stuff anyway. I mean, it's, it's good. I think pick-a-card's better than salvage. I'm just talking about, is the third pick-a-card better than the first salvage? Like, that's the question. Um, and I'm not sure. I could see the first salvage being better than the third pick-a-card. Because remember, we go through so many cards. We draw so much that we see a lot of our deck. So, like, is it is it useful to have, like, the versatility of sometimes drawing that salvage more than the third pick-a-card? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you get to save fleeting champions for later. We really never really used Jinx. Jinx really didn't seem, like, that necessary. I mean, it's all just about Twisted Fate and leveling up Twisted Fate and everything like that. Jinx is not really that necessary. But what I'd have to say is I was super, super impressed with Rummage. Um, Rummage was just amazing. And, uh, like, my Twisted Fate Vi deck that I play, Twisted Vi, I think I need to put more Rummages in there. I have, like, one Rummage, I think, in there, and it's usually, like, a really good. So I should probably put some more Rummages in there. And it did help out with, you know, having, like, some things to discard. But even with, like, these things to discard, they just put, like, crappy little 1-1s and 0-2s and stuff in play. But, I mean, our, our O2 Challenger definitely helped us some, some games there. Cards really lined up for us well, and that, that's probably why we went 5-0. You know, our cards really did line up well for us. Yeah, your Jinx is your second win con. Is, is that better than Vi? Like, is that, is that better than just having Vi? You know, Vi is pretty awesome. You know, gives you, like, some more removal. Um, you're playing tons and tons of cards, right? Like, you're leveling up Vi. I'm, I'm just not convinced Jinx is better than Vi. Yeah, Slotbot. Slotbot was awesome. I did really like the Sumpworks maps to go with the Slotbot. Also, if you play Vi, you can get, you know, like that 10 power Vi and go Sumpworks map Vi. It gives you another good card there. Um, I don't know, just something to think about. Yeah, that's true. Pick a card. Yeah, pick a card's probably... Yeah, yeah y'all are probably right. The third pick a card's probably better than the Salvage. I, I think y'all are right. I think it's probably better just to play three pick a cards. Okay, y'all convince me. Um, just the things we get to do with putting putting stuff back. Uh, try to get all the, the fleeting and, you know, you can have pick a card, put pick a card back, try to draw more of them, all that kind of stuff. All right, well, yeah. <laughs> yep, chat did it. All right, awesome deck there. 5-0 Casino. 
All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Also, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck. If you've been playing it yourself, if you've been watching Mogwai play, you've been playing it yourself, uh, let me know how it's going for you and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Let me know how you like the deck. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.